if you're coming from a mission or an oxygen, what would you say to people that are interested in this helmet? I'm here with Phil, he's the oldest 509 rep in Canada, and he's gonna show us a Delta V helmet. It's actually, this is the Commander version, which has the Cardo 5 integrated into it. So you get it out of the box and it's ready to plug and play. Cool features about it, at, in this wing, you have the light, and it also provides a battery system for the Cardo 5. So the charging port is right here. Right on like a regular mini USB. And then it also uses GBL speakers. And these are pneumatic. So you have an air pump here. So when you have the helmet on your head, you just pump it to your E's and it'll pre create a perfect seal around your ears. Wow, so sound deadening and, exact. and enhanced GBL uh, audio. Exactly, and then you have the release valve to take the helmet on. And that, another cool feature that every 509 helmet has is the Fidlock which is a magnet. You just pull on and off. You just put close and it's on and off. And it's been with our helmets for like five or six years now. Yeah, sweet. There was, so, there was something interesting about the venting on this helmet. It's using like a aerodynamic, like a pretty much jet fighter uh, infra air infiltration system, which will go here, take all of the moistures in the, in the net set and exhaust it in the back. Here. Nice. Yep. And then the top vent will actually do the same. It has an on and off version. And it will take that air, just use it on the back, and still use the same exhaust vent on the back. Oh, sweet. So it's comparable to the new technology that we see from our competitors over the trail market. That we're using the same technology to avoid the fog in your belt. Yeah, that's right. So, and, and that's why, and again, safety is the safety first. I know. Created taught at Bible Night. So having a helmet that has a front end that Vulcan's up or modular helmet or whatever, you reduce the safety feature of the helmet. Right. You know, and involving in something new, we wanted to keep the safety feature like on the top level. Yeah, top. crash protection. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So without compromising seal, vents, and everything, and it actually works better like this because you see, look, when everything is hydrodynamic, dynamically, Get, getting over your head instead of like hitting on the front of the helmet. And it, it, it ratchets to there. Yep. And then it's free swiveling. Exactly. Yeah. So if you're coming from a mission or an oxygen, what would you say to people that are interested in this helmet? First of all, wideness. Okay. Like it's very quiet, ready to seal. And not only that, it's a broader vision on the sides and Better the integrity, the drinking, talking, smoking, well, whatever. A little lower. Yeah, yeah, I got you. And there's nothing on your face. Oh, there's this thing here on your face. Yes, and it's removed. It's not it, rubber, it's a neoprene. Exactly, and it will fall in place automatically when the helmet goes down. It it, it kind of like Velcro's into where it needs to be. Yeah, I got you. And do you need to plug this helmet in? You need to plug it in, and the plug is actually here and the back so you don't see it. Yeah. And then it comes with that 18 inch wire that you run around your neck and into your coat. 519 has their own power pack in which that kit is supplied to work the power you do with order seal out and the cardo all the time. Well, so it's an auxiliary battery, it doesn't have to plug in your sled and put it out. And then for the conventional people that will use other pieces of equipment that heats that need more than one port, well they can use the wire off the side pour it out like any other a piece of equipment that makes it not. Well, for the battery for the light in the Cardo 5, the independent battery needs to be charged by a little USB port, but it will charge itself when it's plugged in. You know, when you're using it and it's plugged, it will all auto charge it. So you could be riding with how I've been and everything is fine. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So aside from the, the sound deadening of this helmet, what is your favorite feature? I would say like 50 cent 
Yeah, fit and finish, like when you're actually riding. Yeah, dust, or, uh, uh, fall, and all of that, just kind of like a real brain. Yeah, nice. Or like, uh, I, I you sometimes have a little beer. Yeah. And you know how dust infiltration or whatever will keep you a little crusty, healthy, as that's nice. So with like a real good bottle of blah, blah, you can fold this all out, set, take that. So, you know, it's a, it's pretty much, I would say, like the beginning of something new in the krill market for 500. Excellent. No, that's good. Well, I appreciate your uh, your time today showing us a tour of the helmet. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Anytime. Sure.